Hello, Victor here, RestoringMercedes.com. This video is for Ned in New York. Okay, Ned, I'll be brief because there's lots of things to go over. And I'll probably disable comments because this is a project car, so you guys out there just be like, oh, this is bad, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it is bad. So this is because it is a project car. So basically, this is... Um, this is my this this is basically my diagnosis um, at the moment after I spent about all day trying to figure all this situation out. Now, number one, the trunk lock it is to be replaced. The I can activate it with the computer. I cannot activate it with switches. It doesn't let me because the roof is in operation. It still says it's in being in operation. Therefore, um, there is a problem here. So if the roof is not closed, the trunk will not let to be opened. If I will just say, go to P pneum pneumatic PSC. I actually got PSC working, it was seized up. I got it working so the the code comes up for the trunk because it's still leaking okay so i tried my best but i can let's say if i hit i just go like this so for example if i'm going to hit unlock the trunk lid just go like this so as you can see f3 is to unlock the trunk lid i'll press the button I don't know if you can you'll be able to see as you can see PSC the pump itself is working there is no problem there the problem is the activation itself um, by saying that is that switches are recognized if I press the switch computer sees it I press the switch inside it seizes emergency switch it seizes it sees all those switches but it does not let let it activate because the roof is in operation so obviously that's the problem there um, next the pump is weak pump has no pressure so that's to be replaced this I filled it up right now to the brim as you can see it's even above high a little bit just to make sure it bubbles maybe it can be rebuilt but it's to be determined it needs to be all taken apart and seen inside see if um like i did a couple of pumps for w129s um where there was similar situation and um i managed to fix them uh, because of the o-rings i don't know about this one i never took and taken this one apart yet um the tubular frame micro switch here now this one is all broken over here as you can see it's like moving <clears throat> although for the testing purposes and and um, operational purposes at the moment I put in a zip tie kind of to hold it back together and it is activating properly so at this moment this is still more or less workable I can work with this for a moment there were a couple of ground wires broken over there I found those um what else the compartment cover um the, the cover to um uh, you know the compartment cover itself has a micro switch that was broken which is over here as you can see the i can probably fix that i can solder it because the switch it still clicks so but the wiring was ripped out I don't even know what I did with wiring. I think, what is it? Uh, hmm. Well, actually, yeah, that's a good question, what I did with wiring. But I basically shorted them together just to get me operations going. Mm, I don't know. To be honest with you, I'm not going to lie. I had it, I shorted it, and... Where is it? Oh, here it is. Okay, here. So, I just shorted them together just to fool the computer saying that okay compartment is closed now over here the flaps flaps they work the motor was seized up I kind of freed it up but this is to be replaced sooner or later it will fail the whole mechanism here to be replaced it leaks all over like a sip um, plastic piece for manual opening of the trunk to be installed 
these wires I had to reroute proper way because they were routed in that opening they had to be routed here because you have the wiring to route over here behind the flap because the flap would squash the wires and it wasn't working right but at least right now flaps open and close as a matter of fact I might be able to show you let's see if I can show you again don't mind the mess it is what it is so this is just the way it's going to be for now so let's see if we can do the flaps it's still going to be a long video because there's so many problems here okay so let's see if I can do activation um, probably not here let's see hydraulics maybe here with the roof closed you see I just don't remember where exactly that menu was but um, ignition no 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 not recognized okay roll bar roll, roll, uh, no 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 not here okay so let's see it's gotta be here somewhere it's gotta be here somewhere I believe I'm yes 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 no that's not here okay maybe let's see here okay yes so fold out flaps because this is very common tubular frame open not recognized so that's going to be a problem first off let's close the trunk Oh yeah, I have to fool the system because in reality flaps can only be activated when the trunk is open that way. So what I'll do is I'll just undo this, you know, this broken switch here. It just clicked and oops. Okay. So let's see. recognize recognize that doesn't want to recognize this thing being open circuit oh well so I guess I just probably won't be able to show you flaps actually recognize 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 okay so we're good here so all of them are recognized so I can open flaps not all the way because I don't want to break them all recognized because again I'm working with what I have okay so it's not like this is ideal situation so let's just activate it as you can see I can do it one more time okay so flaps are something that always fails on these cars obviously so as everybody know but for now they seem to be working so I'll leave it to it let me close them now because they were frozen completely so that's obviously not a good thing now let's go and close flaps come on come on come on come on come on come on time is time is money all right so we're going to close them now as you can see both of them are closing so the problem is not in flaps okay so they're nice and tight but the motor was frozen so and that's it it's just no more that they can go okay now put the switch back in place all right this was actually all messed up it was upside down I don't know who put it in like that and I don't think it happened during the accident though okay so we know flaps work the trunk this the trunk lock assembly to be replaced probably best off with a new one because it will not leak or it can all be silicone like crazy like epoxy all over it might still work but um, it might not so I'm not sure and, and this has to be checked uh, the actual pod the silicone on the pod so it's kind of a mess so this one 
with the linkage that goes to that little ball obviously the engages right there that would be good flaps for now are okay um, next there is a switch contact over here which is supposed to be 127 switch I don't see the switch itself I see contact it doesn't give me codes for it so I guess I'll leave it now the battery is weak this one is weak so I put my booster together with the battery now the let me let me see this <laughs> all right so I'm going to unlock it and I'm gonna slam the trunk closed because the pump the suction the mechanism is leaking so therefore we can't really do much with it okay so when I slam it it's going to register the trunk is closed let's go in the car now like I said previously the roll bar roll bar piston on this side is frozen so this whole assembly needs to be replaced because the piston actually you can't you can't really see it and I cannot give you a good shot this car is really tiny the solenoid works that's the crash deployment solenoid but the piston is in there here is its kind of like a little flap here so the piston isn't moving it tries it tries to but it's not moving it the front pistons pull the locks out but it's not raising and lowering it that is the problem now over here there is another micro switch that was also broken oops so what I did is I took a pen okay and I stuck it in there on the other side of the micro switch removing the sun visor here is the micro switch right over here and I can activate it like that to fool the computer for testing purposes for diagnostic purposes the pen is put in tension on it so it tells the computer the roof is locked so therefore I can do all these manipulations and um, it will fool it the switches for interlocking are good so if we have interlocking switches working um, to fix this gosh this is gonna be never ending day to fix this this whole lock with a nice guide pin needs to be replaced the activation is via this little pin right here the right here so this whole thing I don't think you can replace the pin itself this pin this pin itself you have to change this whole thing um, this whole latch so I don't know is that gonna work out how it's gonna work out so let's put this pencil back in there hold the pen okay so here I have it tightened up now after all these years though of roof not working let's start the car what I can do now at least I'll show you what it at least does even with weak pressures come on now don't fail me now yeah of course it has to fail me well now it's not working again okay let's see it actually no no it doesn't want to work now at this point because I actually had it working it wasn't I mean I, I could only open the rear though that's the only part that worked and unfortunately see I have to act you know use your opening here come on now open open sesame let's see what's going on over there is everything's hooked up yeah everything's connected 
maybe this switch right there fell apart no it's okay all right so let's try it again but this time i'm gonna tell this there it's closed let's see i don't have to close the compartment it doesn't matter at this point This thing, it does not want to work. There's some micro switch, of course. As usual, it falls somewhere. But anyway. It does seem to be engaged. And the pump is plugged in. It is really hot though, but it's okay. It should still do. So why you don't want to work with me? I don't know why it doesn't want to work with me. Because it's actually activated, I had it working. See the trunk light is not lit, so that's a good thing. Roll bar does not work at all. Nope, doesn't want to work now. So, but anyway, what I had done is that the whole lid would move, so that was encouraging. But now, as you can see, it does not want to work. As a matter of fact, let me get out of diagnostic. That might be the case. Why it doesn't want to work? No fault code, as you can see, which is kind of weird. So, let me exit diagnostic mode and then just to try it. No. No. Cannot activate it. So, well, well. Try it again. Nope. It just blinks. Yep. Well, well, I wanted to show at least some sort of sign of life out of this thing, but I guess I can't. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to wrap it up, but at least for now, I would need these all these parts to start working on this thing. It's just too much. No, it doesn't want to show me, it doesn't want to do anything with me. Although it did work a few times. <laughs> no. All right, well, if I'm going to get it to work by checking all the other switches and everything around them, then I'll make an addition to this video. If not, then this is what I need to start on. Like I said, I need the pump. I need the switch. Well, this one I can still live without. This is gonna be all right for now. I mean, this, this little uh, switch. I need the switch up front, the whole lock. Um, well, this I can live without for now. I need this whole lock on this side right here. A rear lock complete oh you know what I thought I just thought of something it could be that this the error over here let me clear the code it might actually help let's just do that clear the code first that might do the trick uh -huh. okay now let's just put on the cover doesn't matter because it's shorted. Let me see. Oh, I have it locked, so okay, so let me unlock it. Unlocked. Okay, now. As you can see, it went down. Well, let's see if that's that was the cause. It was not the cause.
no that was not the cause so anyway if i'm going to make this thing kind of move then i'll make another video showing you that at least something is moving but it's still not working so oh yeah so i would also need the whole roll bar uh, piston this whole assembly here or the piston itself but it seems like it has hoses connected to it so i don't know how that comes apart i didn't do research on that yet okay so this is all for now this is a very long video but at least we have something covered over here these micro switches are engaged to tell the roof that it's closed so okay if anything i'll make an addition to this video but so far this is all this is victor at thank you for watching